Okay, so now we're going to have a look at alkylation. And what we need to remember now is that an alkyl group is like some sort of carbon chain. But we're going to simplify this for this reaction as it could be any sort of thing as long as it's got a carbon in it at some point really. And it's going to be plus so that it interacts with obviously the delocalized rings of benzene. And again I'm using the Kekulé structure just to begin with. And naturally that attacks it. And that progresses to form the same intermediate with this positive charge here which is then stabilized again by the hydrogen leaving which we have our group or an alkyl group added to it and the double bonds back again and we have an H plus but that's fine because we started with an R plus so the equation is balanced which is fine now the little thing we need to add first is create this into the Wieland intermediate again for anyone who's been taught that so far which is fine and trying to keep a bit of a diagonal between where I drew the circle there and again make this into a nice delocalized ring. Now the other thing we need to actually consider is how you actually get the R plus which is where it tends to divide the more eight, more confident students from the less confident because it's some in some ways it's a little bit difficult because you need an R group that's attached to a CL and something to take the CL off and so we use ALCL3 which is Friedel Crafts reagent now if you haven't been taught this don't worry about it but just be aware of the top mechanism but if you have then hopefully it'll be good revision as this type of reagent is also used in the next step which is acylation but anyway continuing with making your R group this creates the R plus and the ALCL4 minus and so as you can see that's got all the extra electrons and we have our reactive species which as you can see is there